together. I wonder if you had uh, covered all you had prepared. Let me give you uh, the platform. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, we pretty much uh, covered everything. Uh, I just wanted to just summarize. Um, yeah, being here is, is quite challenging for everyone, whichever way you can hear from abroad, I mean, from your countries, you will have uh, challenges here and there, but it's, it's the way you, you think about them. If you think positively, you bring a lot of misery out of your way and, and lower your levels of anxiety. Um, one of the things which you, you touched there was exercise. Uh, most of us, especially uh, Africans, we tend to um, not care about this, but exercise is a major thing in, in terms of helping people who are anxious. It does not only distract, distract you from the problems around you, but it increases your serotonin, um, which helps with bringing you happiness and also releasing anxiety. So I, I recommend people to do exercise. You don't have to go to the gym. Just run around your block two times and, and come home. That's enough. Uh, you don't have to weigh weights and, and all that, break your arms and things like that, but just do simple things every day. Try to do some kind of exercise that will help to bring down the, uh, the anxiety. The other thing we recommend people is breathing. If you can have three minutes of breathing in, hold your breath and count one, two, three, four, five, and then breathe out and hold your breath again. One, two, three, four, five, and then breathe in. If you can do that for three minutes, the fact that you're doing that one, you're distracting, you're stopping your mind from thinking about whatever problems they are. And secondly, you are, by holding the breath, you're actually triggering a certain nerve which reduces the heartbeat and, and your um, palpitations kind of calm down. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a very um, successful method we use. It's been used for a long time and it has helped people who are anxious. Other people who are very anxious, we, we give them a rubbers, a rubber band. So you have a rubber band and you keep snapping it on your hand. By snapping it, it's actually telling you, hey, you are, you're still here, you're alive, you know, stop being taken up by all your thoughts. So it brings you back to, to feeling yourself because most of people who are anxious stop feeling themselves, they stop feeling the food they eat, uh, they stop seeing the beauty around them, you know. So these are the things we need to, to go back uh, to. Uh, the, the last thing I wanted to touch on was CBT, which is cognitive behavior therapy, cognitive behavior therapy. So that's, that's, this, that's the, 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 the cycle I, I showed you, whereby you have cognition, the way you think, and then you have what you think, um, the thought and what you feel, and then the behavior. So what cognitive behavior therapy does with is it, it it asks you to write down all your negative thoughts. Whatever negative thoughts you have, write them down. Anything that stops you from uh, function normally. For example, I believe I'll never be rich. I believe I can't make it in education. I believe uh, my dad told me I'll never uh, be successful in football. You know, things like that. And uh, once you put them down, then on the other side, you start picking one of those hot thoughts and making a list of true and false. So for example, if it is, I'll never be a doctor, maybe. The question's now true or false. <laughs> I had that from Sami. So, 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 
Now you put you put questions around um, 